Every year, millions of motorists across the country are busted by an invisible big brother. The hundreds of cameras that are set up to catch speeders and people who drive through red lights. Now, there's a product that claims to level the playing field. CBS News correspondent Joey Chen has details. The speed trap could have nabbed any mommy mobile cruising through Washington that June morning. It got me busted. But I didn't even know I'd gotten my first speeding ticket until it came in the mail nearly three weeks later. Caught in the act by one of the hundreds of radar cameras used by police around the country. Besides the District of Columbia, where I had my uh, run-in, 18 states have found speeding and red light cameras save lives and manpower while generating big revenues. Here in D.C., speeders and red light runners have paid $80 million in fines since the cameras started flashing five years ago. But police insist it's not about the money. It's about safety. No one wants to hurt anybody or have a relative hurt, and that's what we're talking about here. And face it, drivers speed. Every time you see a flash here, someone's gone at least 11 miles over the speed limit. At this spot, six cars go by in just 19 seconds. Five of them will get tickets in the mail. That's at least $250 in fines in less than 20 seconds. Everybody's got a story. Me and my husband have already gotten several, several tickets when we weren't really speeding. And everyone seems to have someone at home who's always getting caught. How many tickets has she gotten? Oh, my God. There's so many. She's gotten over $1,200 worth of tickets at least. So they're trying a product which claims to thwart the cameras. Photo blocker. Let me get two cameras. Sure. The idea is to make the tag glossy, so shiny that it reflects the radar camera's flash. Spray it till it's saturated wet. Okay. Wait about 15 minutes and do it again. The cops say it doesn't work, but... The phone hasn't stopped ringing. This auto shop has sold more than 700 cans, and only four drivers have called to complain. In an unscientific experiment, we tried it on a CBS staffer's tag and tried to reproduce the flash with a Polaroid camera. The glare seemed worse at some angles, 